I've traveled to Houston to visit her um, several times for the rodeo and things like that. So that it was something that was very surprising to me that a friendship and a connection like that could develop out of a virtual job with someone who lives in a completely different state. We meet in a completely different country and we work in a completely different state than where we both live. Um, it's magnificent. And I, I can't, I, I never thought that I would be able to develop these close type, close knit relationships and friendships like I have working virtually. And as you know, when you're working virtually, um, as a speech pathologist, you have to have people on the ground and kind of there to help you and assist you in your everyday day-to-day things that you have to do, pulling kids, helping with assessments, sending home paperwork, and those kinds of things. Another relationship that was and is so important to me is my para-facilitator at my school in Leavenworth. Um, She does not work there anymore, but we worked together for two and a half years. Again, a relationship that developed virtually. We would see one another daily on the computer. We would text all the time. And we very quickly came to realize, and she is much younger than me. She is like closer in age to my daughter than she is to me. Um, And we quickly realized that we had so many of the same interests, um, our morals, our beliefs. And we've had some really deep conversations about life about our faith, sharing about our families and being there for one another, you know, in times that you need a friend and you, you might need that, that outside perspective of someone to look in. And as a matter of fact, this relationship, even though we, and we don't even work together anymore, but she is pregnant with her first baby, baby, and my daughter and I are flying to uh, California next weekend to attend her baby shower and meet her for the first time in person and be with her and her husband as they welcome this new baby into their home. 